Everyone survives or no one survives. Everyone must cross over to Timland and have a pa passport in their hands when they cross over. They are going to have five minutes to plan and you have 15 minutes to cross over before the river breaks, the delta breaks. As in real life, the rules can change at any moment. Remember safety first. Any question? There are many ways to look at problems and opportunities. Um, what many people call a problem, many people have called opportunity. I think that economic slowdowns and stuff like that are usually great opportunities for entrepreneurship. Um, in the current circumstances, for example, I think that we talk so much about uh, oh, incomes dropping, people losing their jobs, but that's an opportunity. And I will give you one of my favorite examples, of what it is, an American example. Um, during the Great Depression, you know, 29, 30, Americans, rich Americans, just jumping off the 50th floor of the building just to get dead. It was what's the point living, everything, stock market crash, everything was, you know. Um, in the middle of all of that, there was a, an entrepreneur who was looking for a solution to some problems. And one of the things he ran into was that potatoes were everywhere, literally on the streets of Idaho, waiting to be picked up for free. Americans who were prospering were used to eating caviar, used to eating steak. And the guy thought to himself, I said, if times are getting hard, people begin to, as it were, uh, uh, navigate downwards in terms of the kinds of cost of what they consume. And if that is the case, that uh, people are going to be looking for more money is called inferior goods. Hey, what can be more inferior on the food chain than potatoes which we are going for nothing but just rotting on the streets of Idaho? Well, if you are going to be turning to inferior goods like potatoes instead of uh, caviar, then surely um, there must be some uh, a way of storing very well potatoes because if not it will just be waste as it was at a time. And this guy did some basic, very basic research and found out that the nature of potato 
is that if you dehydrate it, that is take water out of it, it can almost stay in that condition for a very, very long time. Perfect. Put it back in water at any point in time, it regains the properties of potato. So, having found that, that you could sell this thing and that it will sell very at very attractive prices, you bought off a lot of potato stock. And to pack them into packs, packs you chop them into little, 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 little bits. And he ran into a guy who started a McDonald's franchise called Ray Croc. McDonald's and these potato cut pieces now called French fries were to unite in what would become very short in American state. So um, we got uh, French fries coming out of America. Uh, as they say, as American as apple pie. And guess what? That guy, his name was R.J. Simplot, became a millionaire from selling something that nobody would ever touch called potatoes. So there are many of such opportunities that will be showing their face as we enter deep into uh, economic challenges. Big question is how you're going to utilize things that come through a process. My name is Pat Tommy and I sign up for new possibilities, quantum results.